While uh, there is a report out this morning regarding George Stephanopoulos. Uh, yesterday we told you he's making $105 million. He Who is, isn't? He is the golden boy over at ABC News. As it turns out, uh, ABC turned a blind eye to his Clinton ties. Okay, sure, he was a communications guy for, during the Clinton years, but then, as it turns out, it was revealed that George, every day, talked with high-powered Democrats tied to... Uh, Bill Clinton. Uh, George was one of four Clinton insiders who took part in a round robin chat on the phone where Democratic strategy was quietly being hatched. So he was really at the epicenter of devising Democratic Party strategy, according to this item. Yeah, and there's a new while poll. he was running, as, <laughs> while he's working as a journalist at ABC it, News. It might explain this poll, Steve. There's a new poll out <laughs> right now uh, that asks should ABC ban Stephanopoulos from presidential campaign coverage? And a whopping 46% said, yes, yeah. he should be banned. Right. And by the way, George Stephanopoulos, so you say the big difference between him and Brian Williams is that uh, evidently George Stephanopoulos is an extremely nice guy, one of the nice people in the building. That's why people are battling so hard. Brian Williams never worked million, in a White House. $105 nice million, dollars, $105 million salary. Uh, here's Britt Hume offering his analysis. This is a business that depends to, some, depends to some extent on stars, and ABC News doesn't have the galaxy of stars that it once had. And so George is, they made a big bet on him. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's a bad position for them to be in. I think it hurts their credibility, and I think that George has not gone as far, perhaps, as he should to say in the future, he will not be connected to the Clintons in any way, and any, you know, he may, look, if he wants to remain friends with them in some personal way, there's nothing you can do about that or even say about that. But the formal connections that he's had to them have been too numerous, and because he's under a special burden not to have such connections, above all, to those people. Look, he was a partisan. He is a partisan. If Hillary Clinton is the candidate, I don't see how he possibly could cover it. I think it's time for ABC to bring back Diane Sawyer. Or, have her do it. Or Britt Hume. Britt Hume used to work at ABC. He's working here. Oh, that's right. We're, he's busy. Okay. He's at the number one news channel. Oh, that's right. I didn't know. Why would he want to go back there? The right there. I, just, I didn't know. Let okay. us know what you think about that. We'll stand by on email, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now, that's this right. it's a program that